Hi there ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Bob back here, this time it's the PS3 gameplay with the Striker MP9, the same class as I used on the Xbox 360, and this is going to be the PS3 comparison to the gameplay on Modern Warfare 3. I spent an awful long time trying to get a game on Overwatch for a start because I wanted to use the same map and uh, it took me ages and ages and ages waiting for Overwatch to come up in the rotation but it finally arrived so I was just hoping it was going to be a half decent game. Uh, the striker in this uh, particular account is only ranked 30, it's nearly 31 so I couldn't put gold on it but apart from that everything's exactly the same as it was on the Xbox 360 gameplay. Now, as regards uh, the two systems, uh, the PS3, I find the controller slightly easier to use than the Xbox, but I am getting more used to the Xbox controller, and I find that uh, PS3 has got some useful apps on it, different bits and bobs and things like that. Um, it seems to put you into a game quicker um, on Modern Warfare 3 with a lower ping than the Xbox, whether that's because... Um, connecting to maybe people in different countries on Xbox and maybe I'm connecting to a UK country host on PlayStation, I'm not sure, but it's, it seems to be a lower ping which always seems to help the gameplay, it's not as laggy. That's not to say you don't get lag on PS3, because you do, you get lots of lag on PS3, you get host migrations exactly the same as you do on Xbox. So. All in all, really, there's not much difference between the pair of them. I would say maybe sometimes the PS3 seems to have slightly better hit detection. Slightly, maybe, especially with a shotgun. Sometimes you can get some awesome long shots with a shotgun. Not all the time. You can still get hundreds of hit markers. If you look through, I've got a shotgun playlist on my channel, and most of that was done on PS3, and some of the hit markers on there were just goddamn stupid, because... You're right next to a person offloading shotgun shells into him and they're still not dying. All you're getting is a, uh, a load of old rubbishy hit markers. So, out of the two systems, I think really it's just uh, horses for courses, which system you like the look of. They've both got the same hard drive size now. Mine are both 320 gig. Uh, paying for Xbox Live, is it worth it? Maybe. I don't know can't see what benefit you gain by paying for Xbox Live to be honest because it's not like Xbox Live servers or the, the game plays better on Xbox Live it's it's not really that much different to PS3 and PS3 are charging you now um, I'm a PS3 PlayStation Plus member which is pretty good value for money you can download full games and bits and pieces on there full playable games and they've had some good ones on there recently as well. They're old, but they're, they're worth downloading for nothing. Whereas Xbox Live, I've looked through the marketplace. Some of the things seem to be awfully expensive, even customising your avatar. If you want to buy, like, a, I don't know, a skin or a costume or something, they want 160 points, 320 points, all that sort of thing. That's quite dear, I think, really. It's quite expensive. But out of the two systems, which do I prefer? Well... I don't really. I, I think they're both as good as each other. I know that's a bit sort of an... And you, you probably don't want to hear that. You probably want me to say, oh, PS3 is miles better than Xbox. But I think they're both pretty much the same. They both do the same job. They both have the same issues. They both have lag. They both have host migrations. It's just a case of what you want on a system. The only thing the PS3 has that's different is a Blu-ray drive and an internet browser internet browser supposedly coming on the Xbox 360. PS3 is supposed to be getting a dedicated YouTube app which will be quite useful. I've seen a bit of a demonstration of it. It's not available in the UK yet but I believe it has been released somewhere in America maybe. Right or wrong I don't know but I know it's out and about in some places. So that's something extra coming to the PlayStation. Uh, as for the next gen consoles that everybody's ranting and raving about not really sure when we're going to see those next but I think both of these consoles are quite capable at the moment of, of doing pretty much most things you want them to do to be honest, do we need extra consoles, do we need to be wanting to spend more money on new consoles at this point in time no, probably not, I don't think so I think these have got a bit of life in them yet to be honest, I enjoy the PS3 and I enjoy playing the Xbox 
so once you get used to the controllers that's the main issue with me is just the control system I managed to get some little dome covers for the six on the Xbox controller which made them feel a little bit more like the PlayStation controller that I'm used to so my fingers don't slip off and it's not so much of a reach I found I was holding the controller awkward on Xbox because I'm so used to having the thumbsticks right close together but I'm used to that now so that's not so bad so as regards this game play it was a bit hit and miss there was some hit markers there was some good tears and uh, there were some silly mistakes I aimed at wrong people at wrong time when I should have took another person instead of the one I went for but even so it was still quite quite a nice little game this but like I said considering I waited so long for Overwatch to come up in the rotation and this was the first opportunity it did come up so I just thought well I'll use this game regardless of, of what happens and we'll just uh, we'll just post it and see. Luckily there was no host migration in this game although I'd had two or three host migrations earlier on and I was actually host on a game and this is a weird thing if I pull host on a game it makes my connection absolutely crap so I don't want to be host you can keep that you can let somebody else keep be host and my connection stays nice and uh, I don't know if theirs goes crap but mine does so I get lots of hit markers if I'm host for some reason so anyway it was just a short gameplay this one as well we sort of tore into them a little bit 65 to 49 so I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'll put some Xbox 360 gameplay in front of some PS3 gameplay at some point and we'll compare the two and see how things look and I'll just do it sort of off the bat sort of thing, I won't cherry pick nothing, I'll just do it live, I'll just do half a game and then half a game and splice the two together. So anyway, that's uh, that's my opinion I have no opinion really they're both as good as each other you pay your money and you takes your choice so that's uh, Psychopathic signing out and I'll uh, talk to you all again soon ta-da